And after I heaved out the entire contents of my stomach onto your lap, that felt good. This is a thing with him. Or are you? We've heard that one before. I think he's gonna hold it in the whole game, like last time. Best captain ever? What do you do? How do you navigate? One of your junior members freaking out. I'm guessing with strong leadership and brotherhood. I have very high expectations <laughs> for this whole crew that I know for sure will be rewarded. Birds. Episode 6, an interesting team. It's got Kagayama. But he was a real jerk. And I will hold this grudge forever, even after he's changed. Is she? Is she really a beauty, or is it just that she's the only girl in all of volleyball? I would never have thought of him as like riff raff. Are they just discriminating based on the haircut? Pretty imposing image all of a sudden from these lovable <laughs> boys. If there's one thing he does well, it's mild trash talking. He's really turning it on. Living up to that riff raff image, volleyball hooligans. Classic. Ooh, very mature response. This happens. I mean, people get stuck, you know? I mean, Kageyama was a jerk in that match. To a certain extent. I mean, there's still a part of me that gets it. He just was driven to win, you know? You could handle it better, but anyway, just taking it at face value that he was rude and not a great captain. Yeah, that sucks. But you don't want to become the person that then thinks everything is justified now and forever because someone made a mistake. You just become the tyrant then. You become the bully at that point. There's a weird cycle to that that I've experienced before where I did something wrong and feeling really bad about that, it kind of put me under someone's thumb and that made me more willing to put up with a sort of retaliation. When you get to a point where you realize that it's crossed the line and you've done your best to make amends, especially if you've accepted it and tried to apologize or done whatever you can, given the fact that you can't erase the past to do better, there comes a point where it starts to feel manipulative from the other person and not really about what is for the good of everyone involved, but more like a desire to balance the scales, even if it includes outright meanness. I kind of suspect that's where it's going to go with the opposing team. It can be tough and I think it depends on the, the extent of the transgression. But I like the idea that people can move on. And I think that for me, when I have myself in order, what I want is not to punish people forever, but for things just to be good. Kagama deserves a, a chance. Huge and skilled. They're like a machine. They look so organized. I wonder if these will be recurring characters being set up so early as so intimidating. <laughs> Take some of the pressure off, I guess. I don't know, I kind of like his approach. Like I said last episode, you put him in the game, he'll be good. He remembers. That's his distinguishing feature, turn it. What side are you on? <laughs> oh, we've reached a... Parting of ways. You just weren't up to snuff, turnip. That's loser talk. Hopefully this doesn't get in Hinata's head. <laughs> turnip Kun. <laughs> they didn't even exchange that idea. He just, they all come to the same conclusion on their own. He's just a turnip. No, don't let that in. You need to develop a filter for other people's ideas. I am a girl, the only girl in this world, and therefore I have a lot of value. You must listen to my opinion. It was very powerful. I think it would help him just reframe on the fact that this is everything he's wanted, like forever, and there's really no stakes to this. It's okay, it's a little overzealous. You gotta give him one, give him one good spike. Give him one good spike just to get him going. Oh no, oh no, oh no, it's falling apart. It's gonna get worse. And you killed the judge. That is a strategy for volleyball. <laughs> he looks pissed. <laughs> okay, why don't you focus on failure? I'm sure that'll help. 
Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Don't turn on him. Please don't turn on him. Let it go. Just breathe. Breathe in. Breathe out. Don't. Oh no. <laughs> Let it go. This could be a big moment. Depending on how he handles this. I think he's going to handle it well. Don't give the other team, your haters, what they want. They want to see a meltdown. I love you. <laughs> You're my favorite. We're bros. Be afraid of the right things. There you go. You've hit bottom. Only up from here. <laughs> he's like losing it. You're free. There's actually something really powerful to that idea. Being afraid of the right things. There are so many comparatively petty thoughts that can get in the way. And it can be kind of scary, but I think there's something powerful in taking a broader look and realizing that there's a bigger danger of letting those things be too powerful. It could end up being pervasive to a whole lot of other things and getting in the way of things that like I actually would really want and would be terrified not to be able to have. Similarly, I think it's really helpful to have big challenges at all times. I mentioned before that doing YouTube has helped me a lot with interacting with people in real life, just because the stakes of YouTube are just a little bit higher, you know, being permanent, just about anybody can come along and comment and take shots at me. I'll look way more foolish potentially if I just totally crash and burn because it'll happen publicly, right? Meeting new people is kind of a breeze because it's it's such <laughs> low stakes. <laughs> Even something as simple as, you know, strenuous physical exercise, it kind of sets you up for success for a day because you've already done something painful and so the other things you have to do can feel like rest. <laughs> That's great. Perspective. This is an exhibition match. We're going for the championship. This guy's just the man. I really gotta learn his name. There we go. That's the inspirational senpai speech I was looking for. Tanaka senpai, yes. Tanaka, I got it. Okay, I won't forget again. Fair enough. He earned it. He's acting like a senpai. And it's sort of true that the worrying does really nothing for the outcome. I mean, it's probably a negative, if anything. Here we go. Practice this. Maybe he did it on purpose. Oh, he didn't. <laughs> I thought that was a genius play by Kageyama. Just getting the rust off. Taking responsibility. He's changed. Only you are living in the past. I just want him to give it to Hinata. Yeah, there it is. Hell yeah, so satisfying. Didn't even have time to jump. Wake up. This is what you wanted all this time. This is what you've been waiting for. And the more they focus on Hinata, the more it opens it up for Tanaka. 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 There it is! I called it! Nice. These guys are getting played. <laughs> that was more satisfying trash talking than usual. Turnip Kun is having a meltdown. But their team has more girls, so... Who are you joining? I mean, I think that's ideal. You want people around you that are better. Faster growth. Even the coach is recognizing. <laughs> Put down your baggage, Turnip Kun. They say there's a kind of hell in your current self meeting what you could have been. He's in the right place. That seems right to me. I think it's the leadership, honestly. I think the leadership is bringing out their potential. The senpai. He might have gotten bogged down in his history at Ao Aoba Josai. <laughs> this is me right now. They talk for five minutes between every point. I mean, the captain is sort of the heart of the leadership for me, just in being silently strong and being so obser observant. Tanaka is kind of the de facto spiritual leader so far. Well, they're falling apart. Uninspired by clever blocker. Why does that cut so deep? That's so fitting for his personality. Yeah, they're on the radar now. And they, they're only going to grow. The experience thing is like the, 
the easiest thing to work on with practice. They got the raw, raw talent. They got the disposition, the camaraderie. Oh no, they they saved their best. Oikawa. Who does he think he is? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Here comes a new challenger, a new sexy challenger. I mean, like, honestly, I don't really care about the outcome of the game. I think it would be a little bit refreshing if they, they lost, or it just doesn't matter, simply put, because that's not the point. And the, the point is their growth. I want them to win a championship. I think the captain has it right. You know, he's using this as, as an opportunity to get them to feel out their, their weaknesses, just straight out practice and get their dispositions in check so they're emotionally stable and can contribute to the team as a whole. He has just the right amount of perspective. It's at exactly the right level of precision. Even losing, think about what this this episode or these episodes accomplishes. Hinata gets over his jitters. They worked out that whole strategy with Hinata being a decoy for Tanaka and they've realized that they need to work on their, their receiving. And this is only episode six. I mean, this is the start of their journey. And I don't even think this is a ranked match. The sky is the limit for this team.